Welcome back. Graven has activated the Great Machine, which appears to have opened some kind of portal. But there's still a piece missing, which we saw in the uh, top of the Queen's Chambers. Which we could not take. I guess we'll have to find a way to do that, though. So we have to go all the way back there. Oh. At least we don't have to do that again. Let's see what we can do. Oh, I guess we... My god, that's it! All along, it's been so simple! Could it be? My god, that's it! All along! The answer has been right here! Right in front of my eyes the whole time! Now what? The whole damn hive will be bearing down on us any second now! Hold on. I figured it out. The second piece serves as a compass for the wormhole. With this I can open a doorway anywhere! I'm setting the coordinates for the chambers of the Peace Council. When we tell them about Gromna, they'll launch a preemptive nuclear strike against the hive. That's it! No! The Morgue and Cemetery, which is Chapter You've done some Seven. Incredible work, Max. It's really a shame. Now where am I? That Cyclops? Bugs? Mother? All of these monsters must mean something, but what? That is a good question. And did we just hear, hear Dr. Morgan saying that our medicine will never work? Whatever that means? And how did we end up in a morgue? That's, that's, I think, the most important question. The morgue was actually mentioned in uh, Chapter 5 as being where Morgan disposed of the bodies he's used in his uh, experiments. I guess this is also part of the asylum. And they're not very clean in this morgue, are they? I guess it's cold in here. Makes sense. A woman's corpse. I'll be in a bag soon, too, if I don't get out of here. The doors have frozen shut. The doors have frozen shut. Oh, it's a bit too cold here, then, I guess. The doors have frozen shut. Yeah, doors shut. all like that, so we can't do anything with that. How about the door out of here? Hopefully that hasn't frozen shut. Need to get out of here. That door is the only way. Um. Beware, Max. The closer you come to reaching your goal, the more danger you are in. Someone seeks to keep you here with us forever. One who will do anything to keep you from leaving the asylum. Why do I get the feeling that it's Dr. Morgan who's trying to keep us here? Why? Who conspires against me? I can only say that if you leave, it will mean this person's downfall. But your time is short. Waste not fruitless questions on me. The air grows thick with frost, and soon I must return to my eternal slumber. It, it, it's getting cold. The temperature is dropping. They want you to sleep, like me, forever. 
forever. You must escape this cold tomb, for there are other secrets frozen in time. Okay, I guess they're just trying to kill us now. By freezing us to death, I guess. Must open the door and get out of here. Um, alright. That looks, um, a bit complicated, I guess. Let's see. Well, that doesn't do anything. I guess because these are not, um, connected. That doesn't do anything either. Oh, that moves this gear. Um, now what? Oh. That moved that one. Not far enough. Can we do it again? We can. Hmm. That take care of, takes care of that one. Still doesn't work, though. No, they're just not moving at all. I guess we need to move that one, too. What if we move this lever the other way? That worked. It worked. Can we go back in? Doors have frozen shut. Nope, even that door is completely frozen now. Where are we? In a morgue, obviously, but besides that, looks like we can go outside. Back to Max's walking speed, which at least is not as bad as the. Um, as Sarah's, but not as good as Grimwall's either. Looks like there's a cemetery here. Headstone. Stephen B. Composed as a musician, now decomposing. Very funny. Oh great, are we gonna have to dig up some more graves? Difficult to read. Isn't there an old trick about rubbing soot on worn carvings to make them legible? Oh, I guess. Um, we don't have any soot, though. Can't look at any of the other tombs. What is this? Hmm. This door is locked. Interesting style. At least it's not a gargoyle. Yeah. This is some kind of weird building or temple or something in their cemetery. I'm sure that makes perfect sense. To somebody, presumably. Anything on this side? No. Guess we're gonna have to get in there somehow. The sculptor conveniently forgot her shirt. What's she holding? The sculptor conveniently forgot her shirt. What's she holding? I cannot tell what she is holding. <laughs> also, the statue is conveniently turned away from us, so we conveniently can't see that the sculptor conveniently forgot her shirt. The stone says, Eric R. Get to work you maggots. Oh my god. There's a nice warm beam of light coming through. Okay. I guess I'm just gonna stand here for a little bit to warm up after the morgue. Okay, that serves no purpose whatsoever. Two more tombstones we can't look at. And that appears to be the end. There's something behind there, though. Um... There's a tree that's blinking. That's probably more relevant. The tree, it moves. The tree, it moves. Can't do anything with it though. 
Maybe we need to get it water so we can talk to the tree spirit. Even the trees appear to be insane. The trees in the courtyard earlier also were kind of weird. Kind of actually resembled this one. Nothing we can do outside by the looks of it though. And we can go back inside, assuming I can find the entrance. Oh, come on. There we go. Um, let's check down here. What the hell are you doing? Excuse me? Cutting my research department in half? Pulling most of my funding? Despite the fact that my department, my research is coming remarkably close to a cure. Oh, your research. May I remind you that the Mercy Foundation was created around the success of my hope drug, not vague promises of a cure? Rather than wasting resources on an entirely new path, you need to channel your energies toward making the hope drug better. I thought that a few cutbacks would communicate this to you. Maybe you're not as bright as I thought. You know, I think I figured you out. You're not interested in a cure. You just want hope to bring you more prestige, more money. Oh, you smart bastard. Give me back my department, otherwise I'll... I'll leave. I'll take my research with me and find a company that's more concerned with finding a cure than filling its pockets. I... I can't believe that your opinion of me is so low, Max. We're friends. You're blowing the whole thing out of proportion, taking this personally. Your sister didn't die of DNA V, Max. I'm... I apologize. No, it, it's all right. Those cutbacks are based solely on existing statistics. The truth is that it's difficult to measure the success of your research against the proven methods of the HOPE treatment. Look, you don't have to leave Mercy to continue with your project. I'll look over the numbers again. We'll work something out. Feel dizzy. Looks like we found another flashback. And we're beginning to get some idea of why uh, Dr. Morgan might be trying to keep us here. It seems that we were getting close to a, a cure for this DNA V virus. Whereas he was more interested in continuing his hope drug, which I think was only a treatment, not a, vi not a cure. So people would continuously need that and bring in more money, I suppose. I guess he felt so threatened that he ended up putting us in here. Hmm, that kind of also makes me question the car crash in the beginning. Did we really just steal a car? Seems kind of unlikely at this point. An empty brass urn. All right, well, we can't take it, so we will. An empty brass urn. Kind of a mess in his office. Nice oak desk. Sturdy. Dr. Morgan has an iron bust of himself. <laughs> Pretentious. Uh, kind of, I guess. Wait, we can take that? That won't be heavy or anything. An iron bust of Morgan. A book of matches. And we always need matches in adventure games. Matches. Now I just need some cigarettes. Don't smoke. Um, this section of wall doesn't seem too great. I need something to bust through this wall. Um, I think I gave he gave us a hint there. Wait a second. The top of this building looks suspiciously like the cross from the the town church that ended up in the river. 
Yeah, we can use the bust to bust through the wall. Iron bust of Morgan. Hmm, not quite. An iron. Yes. That worked. I smell gas. Must be an open valve nearby. A pipe hue joint. All right. A pipe hue joint. This inventory system doesn't really work if you're close to the edge of the screen. A gas pipe. Pipe valve. Um, I guess if we can smell it, maybe we need to turn this. Okay, that turned something on. Not sure what. I'm guessing it'd be in here. Yeah, that's where this pipe led. So I guess we just supplied gas to this here. Oven? Maybe? Lord knows how many bodies have gone into this oven. No. Maybe something else. A bunch of tools in here. Always useful. A monkey wrench. The tag on this body says seven. The tag on this body says two. The tag on this one says nine. There are no names on these tags. This just says six. All right, looks like seven is the only one we can interact with further. No, maybe something. I think it might just be because we're too far away. No, maybe something else. Okay, I guess not. A monkey. I can't do that. No. All right. What's the? Can we do that on the door? No, I don't think so. All right, all right, all right. Um, there's something here too. How do I start up this gruesome thing? Hmm. Uh huh. Okay, that was easy, I guess. Now can we do something with this? All right, we can. Yeah. That just closes it. You know, if this were a Sierra game, that would have just probably gotten yourself in the oven. I guess we need to burn this body? Yuck. Why not, I guess? It's gonna happen anyway. Alright. That was fast. Ugh. Hope this isn't anyone I know. A glass eye. Don't think the owner will miss it. A glass eye. Do we need to, um, like, um, fake out some security scanner with this? Probably not. Ugh. Hope this isn't anyone I know. There's also the ashes here, and we An have an urn. Brass so we can take the ashes. Hmm, what can we do with all this? This pipe is cold. Ow! Too hot to touch. Interesting. This pipe goes into the morgue. So I guess if we want to fall out the morgue and get back in there, we need to connect these two pipes. We did find a wrench. A monkey wrench. And a U pipe. A pipe U joint. That ought to defrost this whole building. Um. Somebody's not dead. We can go it back in here now. In here. It's 
see if we can find this person who's yelling. It's How not am in I here. supposed to get there? All right, this might take a while. Sounds getting stronger on this side, it seems. Oh, I think we found him. Someone's alive in there. An old man. He looks cold. Who are you? My name's Arthur. Arthur Patrick. Yes, that's it. What are you doing in the drawer? Less. Last thing I remember, I was taking a nap in the courtyard, and then they were dragging me to some weird laboratory. On the rooftop? Uh, could be. I don't know for sure it was raining. I smelled blood. Dr. Morgan was there. He, he looked at me and s said I was too damn old for his purposes, and I thought, I, I remember he, he was holding a human head. And then, I think I fainted, I... Uh, they must have thought I was dead, I... Next thing I, I knew, I was in that drawer. It scared all the hell. Being in that drawer is enough to scare anyone. Darn right. Dark and closed in. <laughs> Terrible cold. God, that awful scratching. It was a bit chilly in there, wasn't it? Chilly? I damn near froze my ass off. Started to fall asleep. Must have dozed off until you came by. I... Did you turn up the heat? Yes, I did. Well, it's, it's nice here now. Thank you, Sonny. Guess we saved him, so that's good. Scratching? What exactly was it? Can't say for sure. Uh, just remember hearing these awful screeching and scraping noises nearby. Nearby where? Outside? Yeah, it's kind of disorienting in there, you know. It sounded muffled, but I, I guess the sound was coming from another drawer. Okay, I guess we need to continue looking through drawers then. Morgan, he was holding a head? Swear, a stack of Bibles. I saw it. His arms were red with blood and he was swinging around the head as he was talking. Kind of gesturing with it, you know. It, he was really yelling at the two orderlies. Some, some patient got loose or something. I, I don't know more than that because I fainted dead away at that point. I think we actually saw this in a cutscene. Must have been talking about us? Or we heard it on the tape recorder, I think, actually. Alright, I guess we can't open this drawer. So let's check out the others to find this scratching he was talking about. This one's empty. As is this one. As is that one. As is that one. Huh. This drawer is empty. Oh. That's what you're supposed to do? Okay. Wait a second. There are scratches all over the inside. It's dark in here. I can't quite make out what these scratches are. Hmm. Hmm. There are scratches. But we have, uh, matches. matches. Hopefully we can use that to light up the scratches. These scratches don't look arbitrary. Was someone trying to communicate something? Well, I don't know about you, but uh, 
I can't make any sense of this. Now what? But we get a chance to use our inventory again. Maybe this a glass eye. glass eye has something to do with it. There we go. There once was a man. Um, is this a limerick? Who planted a tree and spoke to it daily in reverent rhymes. No, not limerick. Before the man died, he shared it with me. The rhyme I have spoken to the tree many times. Approach it with care, with caution and whisper these words. Speak to me, tree, lest your eyes nest with birds. Hmm, I wonder if that's the blinking tree we well. saw. That was an eye-opening experience. Insert rim shot. All right, that's the only thing that's to find. The other drawers are all empty. I wonder what happened to this girl. She doesn't seem to be coming back. All right, let's go. Walk to the tree, I guess. Speak to me, tree, lest your eyes nest with birds. Uh, why have you summoned me, stranger? Normally it is the man with the glass eye who speaks the words of commandment. I'm afraid he's dead, but he left behind the cryptic message that led me to you. Very well. What is it that you seek? Who are you? My name is Malice Ionsis. I am the guardian of the light, protector of the grove. How do you guard the light? It's all around us. Fool! The light. It is housed within the heart of ancient mighty warriors. They alone understand the true meaning of sacrifice. I don't understand. What do you sacrifice? Freedom, movement, growth. My limbs ache to stretch upwards into the nurturing sunlight. Yet I must remain steadfast lest my trunk stray from its position in the grove. I am he who must remain in place. Why must the grove be protected? Greed, pride, evil. These aspects of humanity threaten all life. Thus I remain, and none may pass, save one. Who? The Creator. The Creator? Yes. By his name only shall I be swayed from my place. Um, too bad we don't know who that is. I'm guessing we need to get past this tree to get to whatever that is behind it. Strange place for such a thing? Is that a crystal heart? But, um... We'll have to figure out how to do that in the next video.